technological achievement is sweeping the nation. From the mission to the moon to the world's cheapest car, science is changing India. With innovations like the country's largest radio telescope, indigenous aircraft and missiles, and path-breaking digital technology. And behind them are men and women who define state of the art, who could determine what your future looks like. Pressure is what Pranav Mistri thrives on. He's one of the most sought-after inventors in the world today. But for Mistri, it's all no sweat. He's always had his eyes on the ball. Mistri learned computer science at Gujarat University, design at IIT Mumbai, before moving to MIT, where he's doing his PhD today. In between, creating sci-fi gizmos. Six science uh, prototype is actually made of these three basic components: projector, a mirror assembly, and a camera unit. With those three components, Pranav's machine lets you use gestures to access the internet. You can refer to weather reports, city maps, even check your email without the need for a physical PC. Imagine that you are outside and you want to take a photo, but you don't want to get your camera out of your pocket every time. You can just do the gesture of taking photo, and you take photo with that. So, if any of you has been uh, ever been in a fight for the television remote, and who among us hasn't, uh, Pranav's got this cool innovation for you. So both of us are watching the same screen, and I am seeing a Bollywood movie right now. So, Pranav, what are you seeing? I'm watching a news channel. And it's the same screen. And in fact, uh, Pranav says that uh, he's working on an uh, innovation now that will even uh, do away with the need for these cords. So you'll just be wearing glasses and watching TV like you would at home. Right? Yeah. There's a lot more in Pranav's magic box, like these cookies. Commonplace sticky reminders, except whatever you write is immediately copied on your PC. Or this touch-sensitive computer that guesses what you want from anything you put on top of it. With all those inventions up his sleeve, you'd think Pranav's an incurable geek, cut off from the world outside. Nothing could be further from the truth. It's more about solving problem of person rather than inventing a new technology and then finding a use of that. I'm Indian, I'm a very proud Indian. I always look for technologies which can reach masses. If you make technology more economically available to a normal person, a key root person, then it's meaningful. Mistri's story started 28 years ago in Gujarat. Born into an average middle class family, Pranav had an above average thirst to be the best. He was a topper all through school. competition, first number. <laughs> but what changed Pranav's life was a video game. Pranav wanted one, his dad couldn't afford it. Instead, Mistri Senior built his son a game with his own bare hands, using used electronic parts. He always inspired me to do something yourself, rather than waiting for someone to give something. My student Pranav, who's really, like I said, the genius behind this. <laughs> Techies from around the globe were floored by Pranav's demonstration in New York recently. Popular Science magazine declared him the inventor of the year. And what does his family think about his achievements? Whenever he used to come first in school, people used to say he is a son of Kirti Mistri. But nowadays it has become vice versa. Now everybody tells he is a father of Kirti Mistri, Pranav Mistri. His friends call him zombie. But really, he's just another normal kid, changing the world one day at a time. 